Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing my July haul video. I'm not sure if I did one last month. Maybe I did? I don't think I did. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since I've sat in this setup with my details behind me and filmed a haul video, so it feels good to be back filming another haul video. I have quite a few very, very nice figures to show you all today. Um, I wasn't planning on filming this today, but I just thought I would sit down. I had a really early dentist appointment, so I'm going to film this and then head into the lab to do some experiments. So yeah, no makeup today, just a, just a quick, easy haul video. Uh, before we get into the haul video today, where I think I have like eight figures to show you, I don't know how I picked up so many figures. I feel like I didn't pick up that many, and then I was counting them up for this video, and I was like, oh my god. Like, I think there's at least eight in this, maybe more. But before we get into that, I'd like to give a quick word from today's sponsor, Bai. Bai is an online proxy service that allows you to buy items from different Japanese stores, such as Mercari JP, Yahoo Japan Auctions, Yahoo Japan Shopping, the Evangelion Store, Melon Books, what else? I've used it for so many things. Booth. Um, they're an online proxy service that allows you to buy from all of these Japanese sites and they ship them to you wherever you live in the world. So I use Bai a ton uh, to pick up items that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise. I actually got the first figure in today's haul from Bai, so I'll be showing you that in one second. I actually picked up this figure very recently on Mercari. Uh, this is the Muse of Renge, Renge? Range? I don't know. Range Murata, Renge Murata. Um, by Alter, and it's a it's an older figure, so I was super pumped to be able to pick it up off of Mercari JP for such a good price using Bai. So thanks to Bai, I was able to pick up this gorgeous figure. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I picked up so many figures over the years from Bai, and also just like merchandise, wall scrolls, everything. I'm a huge, huge fan of Bai, and I highly recommend if you're looking for a proxy to buy some stuff from Japan, definitely check them out. Bai has been a longtime supporter of my channel, and they've actually provided me with a coupon code. So if you sign up using the link in the description, you'll get a 10% off coupon for your first purchase. So thank you so much to Bai for sponsoring this video. Let's get right into the rest of the haul. So as I just showed in the ad read there, I did pick up this gorgeous girl. I have recently been alerted to the presence of the artist Range Murata and absolutely I, I, I have absolutely fallen in love with their art. Um, the reason I was looking at their figures in general was because of the new one that just came out. Um, I'm not sure what she's called. She's like comic comic girl or something like that. She's from like a cover of a magazine, I think. And I was thinking about picking her up. So then I was like, what other figures are there by this artist? Because she's such a unique style that I was like, what, what else is out there? And so I was browsing, ooh, she's kind of unstable. I was browsing on my figure collection and saw this gorgeous girl. This figure is from, I think like 2013 or 2014. It's an altar figure of, I think just an original character by the artist. Uh, but it is a one sixth scale and she's huge. I was not expecting her to be so big, um, but I saw her and absolutely fell in love with her. I love the boots. I love the kind of steampunky cool chair. Uh, the bikini is so cute. And of course, I'm such a sugar. I'm such a sucker for short hair. I just love short hair. So when I saw her cute little bob that's like orange that transitions to kind of like a purple, I knew I had to have her. Uh, her face is so sweet and cute too. Like just the whole package of this figure is so stunning that I just, I had to do it. And then I was able to find her for such a steal on Mercari JP that I was like, how can I say no? Like I, I, I just have to buy her. <laughs> so she was one of the first impulse purchases I've had in a long, long time. Um, I've been very, very good about not impulse purchasing this year. Uh, I have, I want to move out soon. I've got a wedding coming up and it's just a lot of uh, money. So I've been very good to like, just pay for my pre-orders. That's it. Um, but I did have to impulse this beauty because come on, look at her. She's gorgeous. I love her so much. Next up, I have two super adorable Nendoroids and they are the Bokuto and Hinata Nendoroids. Mm. These are the Anime X exclusives that Good Smile released last month during Anime Expo. I did put these up on the Good Smile US site, so I was able to pick them up there, which was great. Uh, I did have a very, very nice friend, Digital Nex, uh, here on YouTube, and 
he offered to pick it up for me, but I ended up just ordering them online because I think shipping probably would have been cheaper and then obviously it's less of a hassle for him. Although, um, shipping was $40, so I don't know if it was actually cheaper. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, these two are super, super cute. I love them so much. I actually don't have a Hinata Nendoroid. I do have a Bokuto already, but I don't have a Hinata. So I thought, you know what? I might as well get them both. Obviously, I'm going to get Bokuto because look at him. He's so cute. And then Hinata just like admiring him. Like, come on. It's way too cute. Ugh, I'm such a fan of Haikyuu. It needs to come back. Please. They need to make the next season. I miss it. I need to bring my Haikyuu brain rot back, please. Um, but they are very cute. These are the Way of the Ace version, so they have the Way of the Ace t-shirt on the back. It's just too cute. I love them together. They need to be together. And I love their little birds. So yeah, very, very pleased with these two. I think they're absolutely adorable. And I do not regret picking them up at all, even though they have like no accessories and came in like the tiniest Nendoroid box. They have a couple face plates each though, so that's nice at least. So I know Pride Month is over. I'm a little late to the party. Happy Pride. Uh, but I did pick up these two. <laughs> so this set is by Apex and it's from a Yuri game or GL game between these two. I don't know what it's called. Um, obviously all the figures that I talk about are always linked down in the description. I put their my figure collection pages. Um, so if you are interested in any of the figures I talk about, they are linked in the description. Um, so yeah, these two are from a girl's love game. I don't know, um, I haven't played it, so I don't know how the game goes exactly, but I just thought they looked way too cute. And they were on sale on AmiAmi for 20,000 yen for the set. And I was like, I have to do it. I like, I, like, I have to do it. I wanted to pre-order them when they went up for pre-order, but I'm so glad I didn't because they did come down in price a lot. Um, so yeah, very, very pleased with these two. I think they are absolutely adorable, um, especially the blonde girl. She is so cute. I love her so much. Uh, I love her face. I love her outfit, her pose, and the way she's kind of dragging the other girl along and the other girl's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I just think they are so cute together. Just. Oh, I love them. I love their two very different vibes, but they're still like so cute. I don't know. I'm obsessed with these two. Um, definitely think you need to get the set if you get them because their bases like fit together. So if you buy only one, they're like a half base and it, you can tell it's like unfinished. Um, but they do come with separate arms so they don't have to have like the holding arm. This one comes with a cell phone that she's holding and then the other one just can put her hand on her hip. So yeah, I don't know. I think... Um, I think they, they need to be together though, and you must display them like this. Yeah, I love, love, love these two. Apex did such a wonderful job on them. The paint job, the sculpt, everything about these two is gorgeous. Everything about these two are gorgeous. What is the proper English here? IDK, whatever. It's too early in the morning to, uh, to know English, let's be real. They're super, super cute. This is actually my first Apex figure. I didn't actually have an Apex figure before this, so now I have two. And they're very nice. I've, I've heard really good things about Apex figures and now I can see why people love them so much. The quality on these two is just mint. Next, I have a figure from my friend Danielle. I actually bought it off of her and uh, obviously my B-roll isn't even gonna come close to the B-roll she put of this figure in her video, so I'll link that video up above. But I did buy the China dress Sonico off of her. I love this figure so much and she was thinking of selling it and I was like, well, you want, you, you want to sell it to me? Because I will buy it. So she, yeah, she, she sold it to me. I am absolutely obsessed with her. This is one of the best Sonicos of all time, in my opinion. And I think her aftermarket agrees. This is a pretty pricey one on the aftermarket. So I'm so happy that she is in my collection. Um, this Sonico is so cute. I love her face. I love her hair. Like the little braids are so cute coming out of her buns. It's so, it's so adorable. And her fried rice is so detailed. I love the fried rice. Um, she is cast off. Obviously, I can't show that on YouTube, but she is cast off so you can switch out and have her boobs exposed. Um, although her dress is very short, she is wearing underwear, if you guys are wondering. Uh, and she also has a really, really nice base. I'm not displaying her with the base currently because I don't have room for it, but I'm obsessed with her base. It's so pretty. Oh, I love, 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 love her base. I don't really have much else to say about this figure other than... Sonico always slays, and this is no exception. She is just mwah, 
She's just gorgeous. I love her so much. Next up, we have a male figure for once. I feel like it's so rare that I get male scales. And it is the Tangan figure by Aniplex and Revolve, I believe. This is a figure I have been so excited to get for absolute ages. I did pre-order him, which is honestly a mistake with Demon Slayer figures because they always seem to tank on the aftermarket and I'm pretty sure Tangan is no exception. So it is usually a bad idea to pre-order Demon Slayer figures because they always seem to tank on the aftermarket and I'm sure Tangan will not be an exception, but I did pre-order him for a good like 300 Canadian dollars with shipping from Tom and I was regretting it I was like I should cancel him like what do I do like why did I spend that he's gonna tank until I got him and I realized he's worth every penny of that like obviously it would have been nice if I would have got him for less but honestly he's worth $300 to me this figure is perfection Aniplex kind of has been meh like up and down on their Aniplex or on their Demon Slayer figures like this one and the, the Tangan, that, or not the Tangan, the, the Rengoku that I have are really, 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 really gorgeous. Like some of my faves in my whole collection. Whereas like the Shinobu that they've made and I think like some Nezuko's and stuff are kind of meh, not the best quality. But I must tell you guys that this figure is amazing. It is huge. The base is really big. He does fit in a detolf, but like he does take up a lot of it. But honestly, it's worth it for just the sheer impact and just look at this thing. Look at this figure and tell me this isn't absolutely stunning. Like, please. Oh, it's so dynamic. The way he's like, like hitting the ground and like all the like dust is coming up just looks so good. The like strands of fabric off his shirt are amazing. His hair and face are just mwah. Uh, he does come with like the hair tucked back head as well. But like, why would you use that one when you could have his bangs out? Like, like I'm not even showing that in B-roll. I'm not getting the box out because this is the only way you should display this guy. I'll put a picture of the other display option. But the way I have him displayed is the way he should be displayed. I'm sorry. But everything about this figure is perfect. The detailing, gorgeous. Shading on him, gorgeous. Um, pose, sculpt, base, everything's perfect. Like, even the veins on his arms, woo! Wow, <laughs> he looks very, very good. Um, even like his individual nails are painted because Tangan's nails are like painted red and green, like alternating. I love that little bit of detail that they did on him. Um, but yeah, just this figure is freaking fantastic. Just perfectly done. I am so, so impressed with this. Definitely, definitely pick him up. This is the Tangan figure to get. I have seen photos of the other ones and they do not compare to how good this one is. He is just fantastic. And actually for being such a big figure, his base or his uh, box is actually quite small. So shipping shouldn't cost too much for him. So next up, I have a figure that is up with all my other bunnies and I've like stacked their bases because I had to pack them in so tightly on my detail shelf. Um, so I can't actually like pick her up. I did film B-roll though, so I'll just put a bunch of B-roll of the figure in, but it is the Power Bunny figure. I do have the box right here. I just unboxed her like yesterday, so here's the box. I love that they went with the like manga art style for the box with the like pink and yellow. Super, super cute. Love that. Um, but yeah, I did get my Power Bunny in the mail a couple days ago from Amazon JP. And I am so impressed with her. Freeing did a great job with her. She is absolutely massive. She is one of my tallest bunnies. She might even be taller, let me look. Yeah, she's taller than the like Miku bunny, which is a very tall bunny. And I've seen photos and she's about the same height as the purple slime Shion one. Um, so she, yeah, she is absolutely massive. I was not expecting her to be so tall. Uh, but she looks absolutely fantastic. Her mouth sculpt is the highlight for me. Just the teeth and everything. Her face looks fantastic. Her hair even has quite a bit of detail and strands uh, sculpted in it, which is nice for once. <laughs> Obviously, I love her red bunny suit. I love the pose. It's very power. I love that the bunny suit is like a thong in the back. It just, it looks bomb. Like, I, I love when they do the thong bunny suit. It just, mwah. It just looks so much better, I think, than like the ones that cut across kind of like a normal bikini style. I don't know, I really like the thong. You can actually, they even show it on the box. They're like, yeah, key feature right here. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely love, love, love the Power Bunny. I know lots of people picked her up. I know she was expensive. I think I paid like 38,000 yen for her plus shipping, which is kind of insane, but she was definitely worth it. Um, she turned out so freaking cute. I'm obsessed with her. 
Um, yeah, so she is giant, but she is gorgeous, and uh, Freen really, they really popped off. She looks, she looks perfect. Okay, so for my last figure today, I have one that is an original character, um, pre-painted kind of garage kit style figure by Obstetrician M. So on my channel before, I have shown my busts that I got from Obstetrician M. I'll link that video above. Um, but I actually got a full scale from him recently. Um, I've been pre-ordering like all of his works. I've talked about them on my channel before. I'm an absolutely massive fan of Obstetrician M. His sculpts are just amazing. So now that he started doing a lot of pre-painted figures, I've just pre-ordered like every single one. <laughs> uh, and this one was included. So this is the, I think her name is like Mofu Mofu something something. Um, probably has to do with the fluffiness of her big knit sweater. Uh, so I did pick up this figure. I think it was about 17,000 yen. Uh, and she is gorgeous. I love, love, love her face. Her like piercings below her lip are so nice. I think the faces on these are my favorite part of the Obstetrician M figures. They're just so kind of like pouty and adorable and edgy. I don't know, I'm absolutely obsessed with them. So I do love her face, I love her hair. Her knit sweater looks so good and I love all of the rhinestones that he always puts on the figures. They just look so bomb. And I do really like supporting these more independent artists. Um, I order all of his figures off of Booth, which you can do using Bayi. Uh, and I have been very pleased with the packaging, everything with these figures. They just always turn out so nice. Um, I have another figure, I have the stepsister rabbit, uh, but I can't show her on YouTube because she is fully nude. <laughs> but she also turned out absolutely fantastic. I do have the cat girl ordered as well, hopefully she ends up coming out this month. And then he's announced a couple other ones that are going to be going up for pre-order soon, so I'll keep you guys posted when those do go up so you can order them as well, because I will definitely be ordering them. Uh, but I did pick up this girl and I also picked up her little sheep that goes with her. So they look so cute together. I love the sheep. I love how his like fur is also a knit sweater. It's it's just too cute. Like, ah, I can't get over how cute it is. But yeah, she is just so adorable. Um, I think she was delayed like a month, but honestly, I think it's so impressive how he's able to get these out so quickly and so nicely because I am so impressed. Uh, whenever people see my collection, they always stop and stare at the busts that I have by Obstetrician M and now this figure and my other one. They're just very eye-catching and different. I absolutely love them. They feel more like works of art than anime figures to me, so I absolutely love them and I am so happy that I have Miss Mofu Mofu. I'm pretty sure that's her name. Again, linked in the description. I'm so happy that I have her in my collection and I cannot wait to get the rest of Obstetrician M's wonderful works. All right, so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this haul video. Um, I sure enjoyed filming it. It was very fun. So <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to film the unboxing of this lady now. And I think it'll be out next week. So this is the uh, Idolmaster big girl, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm super excited about her. She was very expensive. So I'm very excited to unbox her. Oh, gorgeous. But anyway, sorry, that's a, that's a sneak peek of the next video on my channel. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to Bayou for sponsoring this video. And thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon. And an even bigger thank you to all of my Chikatir patrons. Remember June, Zen Nezu, Melinda, JP, Styrak, Retro Richie, and Leon Blade. Thank you all so much for your support. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, leaving a comment. Let me know what figures you picked up this month or which figures you're really excited to see or whichever figures you're very excited to see in the next few months. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a very wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.